How's it going, guys? I wonder if this thing's working. Popping in live and unannounced. Didn't get any content uploaded today. It was Tuesday. Didn't make the deadline. But it was for good reason. We got some really good things to talk about. I hope you guys will find your way in here. Hopefully notifications are going out. I'm gonna uh, walk around a minute. I've gotta turn some lights on and off. Here's the get. You guys are getting to see the gallery. Hey guy. There you go. There's some there's some cool art in this gallery. Aquarium over there. Lights. All right. What is it, Lucky? I missed that comment, whoever you were. Thank you. They only stay up for a moment when I'm live streaming mobile like this. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to win. Okay, hey, you want to take a look at that shrimp tank while we're in here? Got River Life art everywhere. River Wife's very tolerant. Well, hello, Oddball. How are you? I don't know if you can see a little shrimp over here or not. Anyway. Hey, hey, what's up, Honda Civic? Yep. Haley did a great job on that auction. Sand Creek. Hey, buddy. Andrew Purr. You guys are rolling in here. Thanks. 14 of you here. Dan Slee. What is going on? Lockdown, baby. I hear you. Chubby Gubby's in the house. Thank you guys for showing up, for hitting that like button. I appreciate it. So, um, no uh, video today. No premiere. Missed you guys. Hey, Bruce. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Um, man, I got, I got tangled up into things. It was cool, though. Yeah, I want to tell you guys about it. Hey. I'm glad you're here, Donnie. New York Gold in the house. Jay's better room. Asking about the koi. I'm getting ready to tell you. So, just back from Florida, Orlando, Florida, we went to the Central Florida Koi and Goldfish Show, and River Y fell in love with a beautiful goldfish, as seen on Instagram and Facebook, and soon to be YouTube. Uh, and I purchased two koi and entered them in the koi show, and was very fortunate to have picked some winners. Both Koi uh, finished second place in their division, their category. So that was cool. Got some hardware to hang up in the fish room. That's legit, you know. So we shipped the goldfish and the Koi, and they arrived today. They came in this morning about 10 o'clock um, and no premiere at 11 o'clock. But we do what we have to do, right? That goldfish is awesome. This is a great show. There's the program. Clint's Aqua Tanks. Well, I'm glad you had some coffee there. Hey, science gal. I, this, this was a great show. Look at this. This, this is legit. Hikari was a big sponsor. They were there. I did learn that Hikari food is fed to 15 of the last 16 Japan Japanese grand champions. I mean, that's the... That's the big deal in the koi world, and they're all feeding hikari. So they might be on to something. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure why I'm going to feed my koi, <laughs> but I'm going to let them have those free hikari samples we picked up at the show. That was very nice of hikari to do all the sponsoring and give us the samples. Um, River Life YouTube channel sponsored an award in the goldfish competition. We sponsored the best fancy goldfish. Hey, Monica Lynn. Uh, and so uh, a gentleman won that prize. There's some stunning goldfish. I'll tell you this. I've never seen a goldfish as beautiful as River Wife's didn't place. Little Aranda, the cute little guy. What I understand, it lacked breed confirmation due to uh, a very small amount of wind on the head. 
And that's why that's one of the reasons we liked it. Not a lot of wind. But the judges didn't like that kind of thing. And that's okay. We were buying a fish that we love, not a trophy. Hey Cody, hey, Cody son. 20 of you guys here now. 12 likes. Thank you very much. We're filling in content here for a premiere, an edited video that I didn't do. Got Alaska hood here. All the way from Alaska. That's a different time zone. Oh, oh man. And it was 78 to 90 degrees in Florida. I kept checking on Fairbanks, Alaska, and it was... I think it got up to 22 and it was below zero some of last week. So I felt bad for all those people and our brave soldiers serving our country out there in Alaska. Mark Hill is here. What is going on? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, Mark. Stay clean. Exercise, um, some good hygiene. Get stocked up on your... Um, home supplies and share with your community if you can. Monica Lynn says she likes the Hikari bloodworms and drove 45 minutes just to get some. Hikari, doing a lot in the industry, doing a lot. Um, so yeah, this show was so educational and inspiring and motivating. I've got three new fish in the fish room. They're settling in nicely. They're in their quarantine tanks. Uh, I've got the lights down in the fish studio, so we're not gonna bother those guys, let them get settled in for a couple days. Probably start around the meds. Uh, Mark Hill's talking about his Texas cichlid. That is so cool. I went to a fish store while I was there in Oviedo, Florida. Guys, I'm, I've got some footage. You're not even gonna believe it. It's called Something Fishy Tropicals. And it was easily, I can say this easily, it was the nicest fish store I've ever been in. Everything looked brand new. Every uh, sale tank, you know, like the, the row after row stacked. It looked like a designer, beautiful tank that you'd have in your house. Amazing. And they had a number of huge display tanks. Both, hey, Daryl Deemer, thanks for the $4.99 super chat. I appreciate that, brother. Um, they had uh, saltwater, they had saltwater and freshwater fish. They had an employee there that was a, uh, a saltwater specialist and the owner, hey, Alice KH, the owner was a former cichlid breeder, probably gonna get back into it and a, and a freshwater expert. Great, they, did, they had a limited supply of hardscaping material, but what they had was awesome. The rocks and the hardscape, the manzanita, Oh man, it's beautiful stuff. And the tanks were the showstoppers. The fish, the guy had a similar philosophy of stocking fish for sale, similar to what I hear aquarium co-op talk about. It wasn't the cheapest fish they could get. Oftentimes it was one of the more expensive fish. They would pay a more expensive price to get an older and better fish, a larger fish, a healthier fish, a more acclimated fish. So it wasn't all just run of the mill fish list stuff. And they even had several collector species. Um, they had, I don't know how many fish I fell in love with in that store. They had a couple of datanoids, a huge tiger scat. Oh, it was so cool. Well, there's a picture on my Instagram of a porcupine puffer and those crazy blue eyes. I've never seen anything like those. So uh, it was a great store. And they actually shipped my koi and goldfish to me. I used them as a third party shipper uh, rather than try to transport the live fish. We're talking two koi and a good sized goldfish. I wasn't comfortable, especially uh, under the current travel conditions in the US, trying to get all of that weight and water on an airplane. So. Um, I worked out a deal with those guys, and they were so cool. I was so relieved and relaxed knowing they they actually do ship fish. If you go to their website, and when I get around to putting a description in this video, I'll, I'll put their contact information in the description so you'll have that. They ship fish, so if you see something on their website, saltwater, freshwater that you like, you probably shoot them an email. It may even be for sale on their website. I haven't checked their website out yet. I just I, I verified all this information with the owner Lee before 
Uh, I left the store so I could talk about it with you guys. 28 of you here now just dropping in. 21 likes. Thank you so much. Um, doing a live Tuesday because uh, Koi and Goldfish arrived today. I just got back into town yesterday. I did not get an edited video up to premiere. Hey, Teresa Cookie. So we're meeting here at this time. Hey, Jason C. With the uh, Tuesday live uh, to make up for the content I didn't get uploaded for a premiere this morning. I did get awfully inspired while I was in Florida. I took my crayons with me, my markers. Hey, thanks for doing that, Dan. I appreciate you being the welcome wagon, buddy. Let's see. So, my, uh, my new Koi inspired, these are little thumbnails. This is a step in the process. If I like the way the colors match or I think I can get a shape that works, I'll do a canvas, a small canvas. Then if the small canvas works, then I'll, I'll move it to a hangable canvas size. So this is the first step in the process. Um, so I got the Showa Koi red, black, and white. Lots of black. Oh my gosh, that thing is beautiful. Well, listen, let me just tell you. And the judges liked it. It was a good fish. It was a good fish. Lookout's happy to be home. We got her out of the kennel today. She went and had a vacation. And then River Wife's Aranda, also very inspiring. Got a little thumbnail going of that thing too. So, and and as you can see, uh, the, it was not, Florida wasn't shy on inspiration. I did all of those while I was on my vacation and we'll see what happens. We'll see what actually comes off the brush from all these little thumbnails. Oh, but speaking of these thumbnails, <laughs> I did them on the back of my postcards. So, um, we gotta, we gotta figure this out guys. We gotta do 28 of you here. Thanks. We gotta do a, uh, Facebook art auction. So the next step in my process, the way I work it out is if I like one of these thumbnail sketches, then I'll put paint on a small canvas. They're postcards of my art, River Life Art. You can check it out on Etsy. I got a couple of mugs. See, that's that print behind me. Um, so I've, I've got a couple of postcards made. The wild discus again. The turquoise rainbow fish. The more popular one, the, the Bozmani rainbow fish. They're just postcards. This one's available on Etsy. And um, so I use the back of them to do my little thumbnail sketches to get started on an art project. It helps me weed out um, things. You, you can have a great idea, and then when it comes out on paper, it's like, ah, oh, that didn't that didn't work the way I wanted it to. So you don't get into using paint and canvas ahead of yourself. So then I'll do the sketch, and then I'll do a little canvas. And if the canvas works, then I'll, like I said, I'll move on to a hangable piece of art. And so I've accumulated... Um, well, gosh, a great number of the cards, but uh, 20 small canvases, just testing brush strokes and color combos. And sometimes it's kind of a smaller scale of the hanging art, but I've got a growing collection. I mean, they're stacking up. Um, Sand Creek, I'm getting around to that. Hey, Jessica Taylor. Yeah, I would like to sell them. I'd like for you guys to have them because I could sell them cheap. Um, nobody would get hurt. You could have an original piece of art. Nobody's going to get rich. Nobody's going to go broke. It's the kind of thing I, I feel I could be good in the community. we got to figure out a Facebook auction method just to have some fun uh, one day. And I'll figure out how many of those. I'm looking at the stack right now. That's why I'm looking over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I've got two dozen plus. Um so we got to figure that out, uh, Facebook auction. 26 here, 26 likes. You guys are great. Thank you so much. But we'll do that. Um, we'll get going. And they're two inches by two inches to up to three inches by four inches. Like I said, very small. Um, and it could. Yes. So uh, let, let's don't talk about the C word in the chat. Uh, it's understood we need to be hygienic and we do need to be aware. We don't need to downplay it. And certainly before any money was exchanged, whether it's a small amount or not, we, we would talk about the availability of shipping. And initially, at least the first 
auction, it would be limited to domestic uh, mail. I'm sorry to my beautiful friends in other countries. Um, but once we get the kinks worked out of the process on Facebook to have a little auction, a little art auction, um, then definitely I'll do the research and find out uh, what it, what the costs and concerns are shipping outside the country. Hey, Sand Creek Aquatics with $1.99 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, and actually, I think Nathan has one of these cards. He's got a Bozmani Rainbow Fish card. I, I've taken the the original down. I've got about I've got about twelve of the originals not hanging right now. They're boxed up because I've got a show booked. Um, there's a local gallery that wants to have a show of the River Life Art, which is fantastic. That happened sooner than I could have imagined. So I really appreciate my local gallery supporting the River Life Art that way. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great show, um, and my my goal is to, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the size canvas that I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable with. It's kind of small for abstract art. Most of them are 10 inches by 20 inches. It's, a, I love the, the shape. It's great for abstract fish. Um, but I'm looking at expanding a few, probably some of the ones that that look really good at the smallest scale, wouldn't ever want to go any smaller than 10 inches by 20 inches on a canvas, I think would look great on a 24 inch by 48 inch, two foot by four foot canvas. So um, it's really cool processing through all of this. Happy to share it with you guys. Uh, what is next? Is it more prints? Is it more merch? Or are you want to try some of those big canvases? And as a painter, it's, I, I gotta I gotta get on the canvas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the goldfish size it's like any other thing. I found the tank for your goldfish as big as you can get. Bigger if you can get bigger than you can get. <laughs> uh, we're using a 75 gallon for three right now originally scheduled for four so we've got the fourth one to add back in there when the new one comes out of quarantine but uh, during the show i think we decided just to go ahead and upscale that to a 125 and if we came across a custom tank that was easy to acquire and affordable we may even go bigger than 125. hey ups we're glad you're here glad you're listening uh, we're talking about koi, goldfish, and fish art. Um, I got so much show and tell. My desk is full of stuff. Have you guys ever seen these? The coral view lens. This is a snap-on filter and macro lens for your cell phone. Um, I was unable to film very much of the saltwater at Aquashella because of the UV lighting, the black lighting. So this little clip and a lens cover, handy little lens cover, come with two different lenses and this and it's well packed. This is that's a great little tool here. This is high quality stuff. Wasn't necessarily cheap. 40 bucks. But it's got a like a a UV filter, like an orange lens. You know, they give you the orange glasses when you get into Aquashella. So this works like this on your um, cell phone. So when you look at that um, glowing fluorescent paint and coral in Aquashella, this removes all of the blue light and it looks clear. So you get the color without the, the washing out of the blue. When through the telephone, when you see that with telephone, <laughs> through the cell phone camera, when you see that without this lens, everything is just washed in blue and it's real, it's powdery. Nothing is a fine focus. And it also comes with this macro lens, which I can't wait to try on some shrimp. I mean, you saw earlier, if you were here when we were getting started, it's difficult to see a shrimp through a normal lens. The cell phone, even I've got the iPhone uh, 10R which has a fantastic camera, not the best of course, but um, it has a difficult time with that close focus. 
So I'm so happy to have gotten a macro clip-on lens with a UV filter. Here's an example of what it does. So it goes from here to here and from here to here. See how it's kind of just pushed back and faded out and it lets the color come through. And it's odd because your naked eye sees this and it's a disappointment when your phone returns with that mess. So that was a cool pickup. 20 minutes. 521 p.m. here in the east 23 watching 29 likes wow way to go guys good work from 20 minutes in almost 21 minutes in um i was just clearing off my desk here so much stuff so much great stuff oh here's something i was looking for here you go so something fishy is the most outstanding fish store i've been in to date I'm, can you guys see that contact information? It's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, the phone number's big enough. You can see it. Something fishy. Go to the website. Check it out. And it says somethingfishytropicals.com and fishy is in all caps with a Y, not an I-E. Thirty likes right now. Thank you guys. Something fishy. Wow, I, what a memory! I can't wait to go back. Oviedo, Florida, smallish town. I, not. I mean, they're just absolutely great at what they do. I don't think it would matter where they were located, and I don't think their success. Busy people in and out of that place buying stuff. Um, I, I, I don't think it would matter where they were. People came in, they saw what I saw. Wow, this is nice. Affordable prices, friendly, knowledgeable staff, service-oriented, building the community, talking about sustainability for both the freshwater hobby and the saltwater hobby, taking measures to connect with people involved. Uh, hey, Elijah. They're connecting with people involved in, in conservation, building community, with their local community and their visitors and the internet community. Ah, man, I just, I want you to know I sincerely like that place. And they got my fish to me, no hassle. Everybody's fine. Just as I knew that would happen. So they've got a, a shipping business where they ship fish nearly every day, at least every uh, weekday. And they have an account with FedEx, they know the schedule. They were able to assure me, you know, less than 1% chance of something going wrong with shipping. Hey, Danikin, good to have you. So what a, what a great new friend to make on a fish show vacation. Elijah's new here. Let's help Elijah get acclimated. Elijah, you're in a great group of people, very knowledgeable, very experienced in fish keeping, and they're looking to help each other help each other. So I think you're going to like it here, and we're, we're glad that you found us. I hope you hang around. And Danikin's getting hellos from everybody because he's a community builder himself. Great guy. Love hanging out. You're welcome, Elijah. Um, love hanging out with Danikin. He's got that community spirit. And it makes him easy to like. And we all love fish, don't we? Um, River Wife is so tolerant to go on a fish show vacation with me. Awesome. And she had a great time. And thanks to that goldfish. <laughs> I hope you'll go on Facebook and check it out before I have a chance to get it uploaded even. Uh, River Life Community Tank Live Facebook group. If you haven't joined that yet, please ask to join we'll let you in it's just like us hanging out here only it's 24 7 we get to do this an hour or so a week this uh last week i guess i did an extra live stream and then this week because i didn't upload edited content today we'll probably have an extra live stream but other than that uh, it's about an hour a week so the facebook group is active all week long <laughs> That's right, Nathan. Yeah, fish fish are sustainable that way. 
And I'm not, I'm not able to dig through any more of this right now. And probably if you come back Thursday, you'll see some more of this stuff. But I wanted to share it with you guys first. Anybody who would show up, probably you just got a notification. I didn't share this out anywhere. If you guys want to share it out, that'd be great. Um, and 30 of you showed up. So that was pretty cool. And we've been at this for about 25 minutes. We're going to go for 30 minutes. I've got to get some things straightened up around here. I, I say that as I look at this mess, there's no way I'm going to get this straightened up. Yeah, no problem, Danikin. That's the only way I know how to do it, buddy. So uh, I guess I was also very impressed with the way all of my, I'm looking at my new aquarium, the 4.6 gallon Oliver Knot Flexi M with the cool light. It's right over here in the corner. Um, and they did well on vacation. I put some, uh, I put some of the time release food in, in the tanks and did a water change before I left, came back. And all I had to do was do some water top offs. Everybody's fine. Everybody looks good. Some people like different people, my people, they like different types of time release food than others. So I did remove some time release food from some tanks. Other tanks, it was gone. They were like, leave us some more next time. Yeah, unorganized tidiness. I love that. Cahill? I lost it before I could study it. Sorry. Um, I bought my tank already in the U.S. because it's a Taiwanese, it's a Taiwan, um, Aqua A. Yeah, it's a, it's a company that is represented in the United States, Monica Lynn. I bought my uh, kit at a, a, a local fish store. So, and I think probably you could find the Oliver Knot uh, Aquascape tank kit online as well. Uh, and I may have mentioned something about that in the video where we set the Aquascape up. Yeah, and so you remember I went to the... Uh, the Veterans Administration. Thanks a lot, FNS. I appreciate you doing that, sharing that out. Um, I went to the Veterans Administration Rock Garden and did a video because that place is so cool. And then we did this tank, we escaped this tank um, from that inspiration. And so when you when you look at the rocks that I saw, and I kind of do a kind of a it's not an actual side by side, but it's a view of the rocks and the rock garden, and then a view of the finished scape. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. You can tell where the inspiration came from. But now I notice that I'm back. I'm getting some algae on the rocks, on the face of the rocks. Um, I've got an odo in there, uh, but there's still a little bit of algae, and it it looks more like the rock garden now. It looks like the moss on the rocks in the rock garden. So that's cool. Um, I've got, uh, 10, I think there's about 10, uh, chili rasbora in there. Yeah, it's 10. And they're really colored up since the video. I did the video the day they came in. They, they hadn't had a chance to color up yet, but now they're like flaming red. They're on fire. I love that thing. I started to paint today. I'm, I'm just itching to do a koi painting. And uh, I had to go, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's the same all over right now, but hey, what's going on Frankie fans? I had to go to the grocery store. I had to go grocery shopping. So in order to gather a few things, it took a lot longer than I had anticipated. You know what I mean? So I didn't get to paint today. Uh, and I had already missed my uh, uh, premiere video at 11. So uh, I was really glad to have a minute just to sit down and turn the phone on and talk to you guys. So there won't be any metadata for this video until I get a chance to work up a description and replace the thumbnail or whatever. Um... And I don't even know, I don't know if these things are automatically monetized or not. I don't know if you guys are getting ads or not. Did anybody see a commercial on your way in or during the, the live stream? It just clicked over 30 minutes. We've been going 30 minutes now. 33 of you here. 
35 likes, that's cool. So I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some work on this live stream to leave it up as a, a content. Third watch says, 30 watching, 35 thumbs up. That's that's how we do it. You guys are awesome. I, the the river lifers, they don't quit. They just keep going. Benoski in the house. Okay, Sand Creek. So it's not even monetized yet. This is raw. This is river life raw. You're getting it live. All right, Clint Aqua Tanks. We'll see you later. Thanks for dropping in. All right, Kuhil Kev. Kuhil. Kuhil Kev. Um, hey, no ads is good, right? Uh, let's see. What else do we want to talk about? I got my tanks back in order. I got my koi and goldfish here live. Um, I've got some art inspiration. We're going to work out a Facebook art auction. I think that'll be a fun time. I think we'll have, I think we'll have fun chilling. I think I've got some pretty cool little spiffs. Um, start some, start some of these little auctions at, at, at a low bid. Everybody can bid on, get everybody fired up. I'm, <laughs> I kind of wish I didn't sit in front of this pile of stuff I brought back from the show. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it's just going to have to wait. That's the way it is. Is Pam here? Does somebody say hi, Punchy Paints? Oh, yeah, Punchy Paints. How you doing? You better um, uh, make me one of those Merganser cards, Pam. Uh, I need one of those. It's going to make River Wife very happy. I'm, it's not a crisis. At your convenience. I appreciate your consideration. And we were talking about trying to figure out how to do a Facebook art auction. You know anything about that, Pam? I got some, like, like your cards, I've got some little canvases, two inch by two inch up to three inch by four inch, just little, I don't know, thumbnails, all I know to call them, a step in the process. I'd like to do a, a fun little auction. I think it would be really cool. Yeah, and I've seen some people do it on YouTube even, but I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to risk upsetting YouTube. I'd rather not upset YouTube. I might take a chance on upsetting Facebook. Well, and uh, oh, one so many years. Hey, there I am. Of gallon. Sorry, uh, my uh, I'm a partner with YouTube. It's a monetized channel, but I'm not monetized on Facebook. It is what it is, right? This, I mean, wow, this is maddening how, how reversed everything is. And I used to have a painting over here on the, on this wall. Do you remember the, uh, Chris's uh, Cardinal Tetra used to be here. You guys seen that painting? Boo puffer. Um, and the clip broke off and Chris's painting, the neon, I mean, sorry, the Cardinal Tetra, the original that hang, hung here. I moved it to this wall. It broke the hook. It fell. Everything's fine. So I put up one of these prints, which has got um, two thin sheets of acrylic instead of glass, not as heavy in it. The command hook, it just let go. So I just picked this up out of the floor um, right beside my art that's also on the floor now. Uh, maybe that wall's a different temperature or it sweats the command sticky stuff or something. I don't know. I'm not having any luck hanging anything on that wall. 35 of you still in here. 34 minutes, 45 seconds. And it is 5.36 p.m. Eastern time on a dreary day in East Tennessee. We've had rain about all day, still overcast. Warmish in the 60s, but pretty good compared to Alaska, right? A 
if you're just joining us, I'm bragging about my koi competition wins. Two fish in, two medals. Hardware for the fish room. Both koi finishing second in their division. Uh, one was a long fin. It's a beautiful little guy, too. And the other was uh, what they call a doitsu, a, a scaleless. And its color variety was Showa. Thanks a lot, Fishy Biz Aquatics. I appreciate that. And that was a big surprise. I had no idea we were going to win anything. And it was quite an honor. Yes. And... Huh, it's probably it's highly addictive. You know, once you got a couple of medals, you want them all. So uh, I will be better prepared next year in both um, how to select koi and how to get them back. And probably I'll go ahead and get a pond going here at the new uh, River Life location. That's a probably, not a promise. You guys know the difference, right? Yeah, uh, chances are pretty good. I uh, actually, Riverwife and I were talking about it, and it was almost a decision. We had almost made the decision. <laughs> and you guys know what a, a spitter is? Hey, Dan, thanks for coming by. You know what a spitter is for a pond? It's the, the little bird or the fish, and the water comes out of its mouth like a little water feature, spits water back in the pond. So we were about to decide that it was okay for us to build a pond. <laughs> And I said, for our pond, we need a Bigfoot statue. We need some statuary of a Bigfoot that's a spitter. So we got Bigfoot, you know, in the traditional Bigfoot pose, walking, spitting into the pond. <laughs> and Riverwife said, we were that close to getting a pond. <laughs> Jessica Taylor wants to know if we're still doing stickers. And the answer is... Yes, we are. You send me a self-addressed stamped envelope so you can get some River Life stickers. And I've got some Fish Room Fever stickers. And I've got some Chattanooga Ed stickers. I've got some Project Piava stickers. And just for you guys being here, um, I'll tell you this. I've got some Australian stickers on the way. The Australian fish tubers want to get in on the sticker jam, so they're sending me some stickers of theirs to give to you guys. So send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the post office box, which will be in the description of this video when I get it posted. And you can look at any of the other recent videos and it's, it's already there. Self-addressed stamped envelope to that post office box. I'll throw you in several of each sticker and then some. I've got, that's just a few of the ones I've got. And no charge to you. Hey, look out. Did you miss me? She missed me. You guys know look out? You guys know look out. 37 of you here. We're going to keep on. We're going to get 40 people in here at once. We already have 40 likes. Thanks a lot. It's 539. 38 minutes in. Hey, girl. Come here. Come here, they can almost see you. There you are, there you are. Oh, now they can see you. They can see how pretty you are. Oh, you're a sweet girl. I missed you too. I did, I missed you. You're a good girl. You are such a good puppy. Now that's a good puppy right there, that lookout. She's a good girl. Yes, you are. You're a good girl, good puppy. I think I'll give you a treat for being so good. All right, I missed something in chat. Seaside, where is Seaside? What's going on at Seaside? That's what happens when I don't pay attention. I miss out on all the fun. Pam, how are you doing? How are things out there in Wyoming? I heard from a fish keeper out there in Wyoming uh, from my Etsy page. And I don't think I'd heard of them before. I don't know if you know of any other fish keepers out there or not. Do you guys still have tons of snow? Looking forward to the camping trip. When is the camping trip? Do you have a Facebook group again this year, Pam? Punchy Paints organizes 
the fish tube camping trip. In September, and it's a beautiful time of the year in the fall. I think they traipse around out in the west out there. Maybe they get up to, uh, yeah, there's a Facebook page. If you want to put a link, Pam, go ahead. Uh, I think you guys take a field trip up to Yellowstone or you camp in Yellowstone. Is that right? The KOA campground. We got, I think, Chattanooga Ed from Tennessee's going. East Tennessee's going to be represented out there this year. UPS are living the dream. That sounds like a beautiful dog. Lookout is a, uh, I've got her from a shelter as a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And we can tell she's got some golden retriever. And that's why she's so sweet. Um, that's that golden retriever personality. We love her. Billings. Billings, Montana, okay, and Candy's out there. Candy overhauls. I'm glad you're here, Pam. I would have messed that all up. Big city bed is in the house. What's going on? Actually, you know, they had some bettas at the Koi Show. It was cool. Grizzly bears at Yellowstone. Ooh. Uh-oh, the Sasquatch statue on 101. I'm interested. Sam Squanch. Amber, um, you just got here. Uh, it gives me a chance to brag again because I want you to know that my koi competed well over the weekend at the Central Florida Koi and Goldfish Show. Uh, I had two koi entered in the show, and they both won second place in their class. I'm so proud. I'm tickled to death to have some hardware for the fish room. Uh, and when, hey, Mr. Fish, sir. And when I saw you uh, stop in, I thought, hey, I can brag again because we've got a, a new person in here. 41 likes. Wow, way to go. 37 people here. I don't know if we're going to make it to 40 in here off the same time or not. It's 543. 37 here, 41 likes. We've been going for 42 minutes. Elijah Gordon's got open calendar. There you go. Working it out. Setting up a new tank. Giving some baby bishers. They needed a rescue. Oh, way to go. Way to reach out and help the bishers. Thanks, Pam, for the link. There you guys go in the chat. We've got a, uh, a link to a Facebook group of a bunch of fish tubers going camping in September. Thanks a lot, Amber. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh... They're going to see grizzly bears in Yellowstone. They're going to hang out and talk about art and YouTube and life and fish and have fun adventures and come back and tell us all about them. Daryl Deemer's still here. Good to have you around, sir. 38 people. Can we get two people in here for crying out loud? Can we get the 40 on a pop-up, unscheduled, unsolicited live stream? Oh, Monica Lynn got a king better. Half moon. Really cool. Jamie Fife, did the fish win? Jamie, the goldfish did not. That surprised me. That's the prettiest goldfish I've ever seen in my life. You Check it out for yourself. It's on my Instagram, River Life TN. It's also on Facebook, uh, River Life Community Tank Live Facebook group. That thing is a shocker. It's amazing. It didn't win. I heard it didn't meet uh, confirmation for the breed, which is a randa, and it just had a very little bit of win on the head, which is it attracted me to it. I don't like having to think about doing win surgery. Yeah, it should have won. It should have. But my both of my koi finished second, Jamie. They... One was a long fin tancho. That's the white fish with the red spot on the head. Man, sweet little fish. And the other was a doitsu, scaleless showa. A lot of, mostly white, a lot of black, and um, almost as much orange. The smaller one finished second also, yes. And then the larger one, which... Stunner. And they arrived today. That's why we're doing this live stream. Hey, 40. Way to go, guys. Love you guys. 
Bam. I knew you'd do it. Uh, didn't get a premiere, an edited video premiered today, but I did receive Koi and Goldfish from Florida. So I got those guys set up. They're chilling out in the fish studio. Got them a little quarantine tanks and um, what do you call those, uh, those ponds, the stock tanks. Got everybody set up out there, just, just ready to get acclimated to the new water, maybe run some meds through them, get them settled in, and yeah, decide if we're going to do another uh, large, extra large tub, which um, I learned so much at this show. They had like eight feet diameter tubs. That's like over a thousand gallons. Yeah, I'll just go get you a plastic tub and fill it up with water and have you a little holding pin for a koi. Probably not a long-term solution, but they did fine over the long weekend. Uh, either do that and postpone a pond build or just, you know, it's springtime here in Tennessee. Go ahead and schedule it. Chevy Fish says, talk tubs and 17-gallon utility tubs. That 17-gallon tub, I think is the most fish holding capacity you can buy for your money. I think it's that 17 gallon tub for five or six bucks is the best deal you can get. Then my second go-to for a cost value is the five gallon bucket. Which by the way, I've used five gallon buckets for as long as I can remember to do all kinds of things in. Great for growing out fry. I've got, I've got shrimp going right now in a five-gallon bucket. Plants, snails, 20 foot by two foot, whatever that is, sounds cool. Wow, that chase, that's cool. You know, a lot of the fish farms use those, uh, the concrete forms used as uh, for caskets. They're pre-made, pre-measured, and they're watertight. Just set them down, fill them up. Hey, Candy, what's going on? Good to have you here. Hey, Candy, welcome. Have you heard that my koi finished second, both of them, in their divisions? And I got to bring some medals home from the Central Florida Koi and Goldfish Show. Yeah, I'm a little proud. I'm a little proud. I've never won a medal before. Maybe not in the fish show anyway. Thank you, Candy, for posting that Etsy page. So I'm talking all about my little uh, hardware. Yeah, it was exciting. Oh, that was so cool. They had a little banquet, and Riverwife and I went. Um, we were going anyway because we sponsored one of the awards for the goldfish show. Uh, but we went uh, after we entered fish in the... We entered a fish in the goldfish competition and two fish in the koi competition. So we wanted to learn the results. And uh, we got all gussied up and went out to what I called the koi prom. They had a nice social hour and a wet bar. And man, the awards were handmade pottery for the different size, third place, second place, first place. It was gorgeous. It was like a gallery. It was like a gala on vacation, but the atmosphere was very relaxed. And it was kind of, it reminded me of people like us, just people who love their koi and their goldfish, hanging out, just sharing life together, talking about their fish, sharing tips and resources. It was really cool to see that go on. It was, I mean, it was another Aquashella aquatic experience event, uh, same vibe, same types of conversations, relationships being built just on a much smaller scale. I think the Koi show had 210 fish in it. And uh, I've never seen anything like the judging that went on. That was serious business. And I mean a whole team of judges. Those guys are certified. They had student judges that were earning hours and points working toward their judges certification. It was pretty cool stuff. Thanks a lot, Sean, I appreciate that. Uh, I did meet the judge, and uh, we, I look forward to speaking to him again. Uh, he said that'll be fine. He looks forward to, 
to talking with us, and maybe we can have him on the River Life show. So, uh, thank you, Candy. I wondered if something fishy was going on there. Appreciate you. So, uh, I'm going to get to talk to uh, Dale Grin. Uh, Is it Gingrich? I, I get that confused. It's so close to the politician's name. I don't know if that's right or not. Hey, the fish tank barn. Hey, hey, I want to make sure you come to my fish auction on Facebook, Mike. I need a sergeant at arms uh, because we're going to feel our way through it. Maybe I can get Haley in there too because you guys were awesome at the big fish deal. That was a great video. Um... Uh, we haven't scheduled it yet, Mike. I'm still trying to figure out how to work it over there on Facebook. I've got a uh, River Life Art Facebook page, and I may just haul off and do it. Um, I don't want to jeopardize the River Life Community Tank Live group, but I see so many people doing it, it just seems like it's okay to do. I mean, it's a... Uh, it is a page. It's not a personal page. I've got to make sure. I think if the settings are correct and you're set up to do business, you're not trying to fool people into a page. And then all of a sudden you're doing business. You're trying to take their money. So I'll figure it out. And as soon as I do, I'll blast it across my social media and hopefully all you guys can show up. But it's 553 here. I'm going to have to shut this one down. Thank all of you guys for showing up. 43 people here right now, 49 likes. We were so close to 50 likes. And hopefully later on tonight, I'll be able to get some metadata up on this video. Sorry that I missed you guys this morning for edited content. Um, we'll get back on schedule next week. Hey, Q, good to see you. Uh, hi and bye. We're closing down, Susie. Um, you missed me bragging about my medals from the Koi Show. One last show. One last show of the medals. I had two Koi in the show. They both finished second in their division. And so, uh, but I'm going to, I'll get back on schedule next week. Thursday, be here Thursday. We're going to, I'll probably show you the the um, coral viewing lens again, the macro and the UV filter. We're definitely, I'm going to bring my little medals. I want to show everybody Thursday night my medals. And we're going to talk about uh, the inspiration that I got for my art from the Koi show. It was a big deal. It's a big one. That was a nice show. So it looks like they got about five clubs banding together to make that happen. Man, the program, look at that. It's crazy. So we got all that coming up Thursday night. We're going to figure out that Facebook thing. We got art for sale on Etsy. We got you guys. You're welcome to come over to the River Life Community Tank Live Facebook group anytime, 24 seven. Glad to have you there. Just request a membership, we'll let you in. Blake, good to have you here, sir. I'm glad I saw you on the way out. But I am gonna close this one down. I do look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the super chats. Um, it's good to be back home uh, with you guys here in the studio. Thanks for that link there, Candy. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Till then, why don't you get out there and see it Live it and love it. I'll see you on the next one.